Why don't you try it on the tart? This Gadzooka is one of your greatest gadgets, Great Inspector. The secret is in the acid sour cream, my boy. Try it one more time. Just a few adjustments and no mad weapon will withstand my amazing new Gadzooka. <laughs> That's it, Mad Cat. The legendary Red Rose, the invincible weapon, and the man who invented it is Spuds Malone. Mad Cat, hit me less renown. Old bad guys and gals retirement home. Less renown here. Who's speaking? It's me, Dr. Claw. I need Spuds Malone and his red rose to get Gadget. Oh, I think Dr. Claw would be the best man you could get. Especially against Gadget. I am Dr. Claw. I want Spuds now. Ah... <laughs> uh... Uh, how about uh, Spuds Malone instead? That's what I said! I want him to get the Red Rose and to eliminate Gadget! They'll love these! Great surprise for dinner! Potatoes! No way! No more potatoes! Who can eat only potatoes every day? Sponge, I've got a job for you. I've got a job. I'm the chef here. Dr. Claw wants you to bring Red Rose out of retirement and use it to do away with Inspector Gadget. I'm through with the business, Les. These people love me. And I've got nothing against Gadget. Oh, yes, you do. Gadget was the only witness at the St. Patrick's Day Massacre. If you don't get him, he'll get you. Gadget, the baby. Okay, tell Dr. Claw I'm on the job. Splendid. Now go get Red Rose. Red Rose? Now where did I put that? Haven't used it in 50 years. Tater, get me fingers. Ah, uh, well, well, these two, boss? Not those fingers, idiot. Fingers, the best safe opener in the universe. Ah, uh, here's fingers, boss. How are the fingers, fingers? Well, they call me Knuckles now, boss. Oh, you 
Got a job for the pro? We have to find Red Rose. We're gonna take out Gadget. I'm ready anytime. I can open whatever you want. You're getting better with each shot, Captain. Now, just hold it steady. I'm getting a ringing in my ears. It must be from the Gadzooka. I think that's the top secret gadget phone, Uncle Gadget. Precisely, Penny. Inspector Gadget here. Yes, Chief. I'll be right there. Hold your fire, Captain. Chief, are you in there? But why are you in the target? I figured this was the safest place, Gadget. Here's your assignment. Spuds Malone, public ex-enemy number one, is out of retirement. Plans to unleash the Red Rose, his famous secret weapon. Red Rose, still considered extremely dangerous. Suspect mad involvement. Eliminate Red Rose. Caution. This message will self-destruct. Take this card, Gadget. This is where to find Spuds Malone. Thank you, Chief. But don't worry, Chief. Catman and I will put out the fire. Fire? Oh, it needs chives, Gadget. Let's see this card that the chief gave me. Spuds Malone, residence, the old bad guys and gals retirement home. Go, go, Gadget Mobile! <laughs> If Gadget looks for me, he'll get a little welcome. <laughs> now, let's get Red Rose. Excuse me, kind potato face person. Where can I find the notorious Spuds Malone? He's in the kitchen. Don't bother to knock. Thank you. Go about your business, good citizen. Quick, Brain. The kitchen. There's something suspicious about those men. Maybe I can get some information on them with my computer book. Go, go, Gadget Neck. Where's the kitchen? Hmm. Oh, there. I'm flying! When I yell spuds, you fire. Yes, oh great inspector. <gasps> Get yourself up in there. Inspector Gadget is coming in. Wowzers! Look at all these spuds! He said spuds! <laughs> Are you all right, Inspector? Nice shot, Captain. But it looks like spuds has flown the coop. Let's go! Wow! Hurry, Brain! Follow Uncle Gadget! Run! Hmm. I think there's a clue to finding the Red Rose here somewhere. Uh, uh, where are we going, boss? Make a left here. We're going to the old neighborhood, Hex Kitchen. Red Rose is probably there. According to my files, Spuds Malone was raised around there many, many years ago. Great thinking, Inspector. He's maybe still there waiting. I await your command, Great Inspector. <laughs> What have they done to my old neighborhood? They've turned my slum into a condominium. <laughs> oh, there, there, boss. Uh, maybe it's uh, your old reform school. <laughs> Let's get over there. Excuse me, kind old potato face man. Is this Spuds Malone's old neighborhood? Right over there. Thank you, my 
my good man. A building covered with red roses. No doubt it is here. Fire at will, Captain. Aye, aye, your greatness. <laughs> Look, great inspector! That rose bush is getting away! We won't let him get away! Wow! Uh, you're not gonna believe this, boss, but we're being followed by a rose bush! Ah, uh, I knew you wouldn't believe it. Stop here, fingers! That's Snuggles, boss. My old reform school is right here. What? They built a rose garden where my reform school used to be. Ain't nothing sacred. Fools. Gadget's right behind you. Eliminate him now. Quick, the manhole cover. These potato grenades should do the trick. There's that suspicious rose bush. Stop in the name of the law! Come on, Spuds, or I'll blow the place sky high! Right! Wow! Inspector, I'm flying! Wowzer! Go, go, catch it, Hunter! I'm flying! Don't worry, Inspector! I'll get us down safely! You there, in the shabby dog outfit with the roses. Hold! You there, I said hold! The skid row, where I open my first speakeasy. Don't waste your ammunition, Captain. Uh, I think that rose bush is still following us. Open the water main, fingers. That should throw it off our trail. That's Knuckles, and I don't have the key. Snuckles! Whee! I'm flying again! Hold still! You're under arrest! What's happening, Brain? I think I'm on Red Rose's track. And speaking of roses, Brain, I think you should get rid of yours. Wait! You! I'm not gonna let you get away! Step aside, folks. Official police business. What a great disguise, Inspector. After you. Where's my speakeasy? Where are my bums? Where's my red rose fingers? That's Knuckles. And I don't have the key to that either. Keep your eyes open for red rose, Captain. There it is! You there with the flower cart! Stop in the name of the law! Uh, look out, boss! Run for your life! Stop, I say! I don't have the key. I just remembered where I put Red Rose. Fingers, get in the truck and drive. Wow! 
Inspector? If that suspicious suspect. What? Come back here. Wow! You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to end. Gadget is alive. You old folks, stop the truck. Wow! But I remember where I left the red rose. Get Gadget first. Right away, Dr. Claw. Bon appetit, Gadget. Right. Everything you say can and will be used against you. Wowzer! Go, go, gadget legs! You there in the truck! Be more careful! Let's get out of here! Wait! <laughs> Wow! Hey, taxi! Follow that truck! Okay, Brain, I understand. I know where they are heading. I found Red Rose. And I know how it works. It rottens potatoes, which create an awful smelling gas. I hope I have time to make a few adjustments. Well, uh, we're being followed, boss. Should I unload the rest of the potatoes? No, we'll need them for the red roads. Hey, you in the truck. I said stop. Boy, they'll be surprised if this remote control works. Keep going straight. Hmm. There, I finished just in time. I'd better call Chief Quimby. Wowzers! <laughs> <laughs> What did you say, Renown? It's gonna be expensive to fix that gate. Charge it to man. Another great disguise, your greatness. Follow me, Captain. We tried so hard to find you. Dr. Claw, Red Rose is ready for action. Splendid. Take her down, Mad Cat. Ready, aim, fire. Wowzer. Strange odor, isn't it, Capman? Strange indeed, Great Inspector. It's not jamming, Red Rose. I've got to try again. Hurry, Chief Quimby. <laughs> Hold your fire. We don't want to hit that nice little old lady in the cart. A cart full of red roses. That must be Spuds Malone. Right. Resume fire. This has got to work. Fire. Uh, I, I think it's jamming, boss. Rotten potatoes. Mm, yeah. My red rose! My red rose! I should have kept you as a potato peeler. Well, Gadget, you've done it again. I don't know how you do it. I couldn't have done it without Capman and my Gadzooka. It looks like everything's come up roses, Chief. <laughs> Just you wait. It's nice of you to stop and let these senior citizens go by, Uncle Gadget. Yes, Penny, we need to be patient and considerate to older folks. 
Nice going, Cupman. Now they won't get their feet wet. I'll see you back at the house. I'm going to stay and give these nice people a flying lesson. We're gonna do it from there. Okay, folks, follow me. <laughs> Dr. Claw, I think you'll be happy with my latest piece of work. My devoted assistant will show you. Monotone, the chart! Uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, this is Gadget's family tree. Uh, it's a beautiful tree. Uh, very rare. Uh, very rare. It's disgusting! But, Dr. Claw, this is a new way to eliminate Gadget. Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Monotone, the chart! Uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. This is Gadget's family tree. Beautiful tree. Um, very rare. If we could eliminate Gadget's ancestors, Gadget will never come to be. We will control the future by changing the past. But your question will be how to travel into the past. Let me demonstrate. I have created a time machine. Very beautiful. Very rare. I will now take a little walk. Wonderful. I'm back. And? This is Henry VIII's wedding ring. I could have anything. Gadget, an army of warriors from the past. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs? An army of dinosaurs. First, I'll crush the first Gadget. Then I'll crush Metro City! Do it now! Yes, sir! It's all right, Brain. Mammoths have been dead for millions of years. Penny, Brain, I can make this airplane fly with my gadget power. Hey! Get back here with that! Oh! Oh! oh. Wow! The top secret gadget phone. Stop! Uncle Gadget! Ah! You're where? Right away, Chief. You ought to get some carpeting for these hard floors. No, Brain! I'll stay with the guard, Brain. You follow Uncle Gadget and find out what's going on. Chief, where are you? In here, Gadget. Here's your assignment. Man has gone back in time. Suspect agents bringing back dinosaurs to rule Metro City. See Professor Von Slickstein at Police Lab. Caution, this message will self-destruct. Whoa! Right away, Chief. Inspector Gadget is always on duty. Gadget! We've landed in the Mesozoic era. Now all we have to do is get the Brontosauri out of the swamp. Fortunately, we brought lots of carrots along. Get on with it. But first, eliminate Gadget's ancestor. <laughs> I have reproduced the H.G. Wells time machine, as you can see. A time machine? It doesn't even have a clock. You mean we can go back in time and see real dinosaurs? Absolutely. With greatest of ease, we could travel back in time. Wowzers! Traveling in time. Let's go. I'm always on duty, and when duty calls, I answer. This is the restore button. When you push it, everything within one block of the machine is restored to its normal time period. Dinosaurs are waiting for us, Penny. Let's go. Great! We're going, too. Come on, Brain. This will be a great educational experience. Whoa! Whoa! Way! Come on, Brain. You'll be safe with me. Whoa! Whoa! I'll miss you if you don't come. Now, this is the lever that moves the machine back and forth in time. Not yet! It hasn't been calibrated! Dinosaurs, here we come! Wow, wow, 
Bubble. Oh no, Uncle Gadget! We're in the wrong era! Whoa! <laughs> Wrong era? Maybe I should have made a left turn. But let's find the dinosaurs first. Let's ask these nice gentlemen. Hello there! I don't like this brain. Hello, gentlemen. Inspector Gadget's the name. <laughs> We're looking for some dinosaurs. Have you seen any suspicious characters around? Go, go, gadget binoculars. Ananga Kachunk. Huh? She, 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 she. Oh, Uncle Gadget, you have to save him. No problem, Penny. It's just a big kitty cat. Go, go, Gadget Copter. <laughs> shoo. She, she, shoo. Kitties hate water. Go, go, Gadget Squirt Gun. A sleeping gas. I've got to get these fingers checked. I can't believe it, Uncle Gadget. This caveman looks just like you. Maybe he's your first ancestor. Erga, come on. No, no, the pleasure is all mine, Great Grandfather Gadget. Pleased to meet you, little girl. think you're a god. Nonsense, Penny. I'm a police inspector. <laughs> Uncle, I don't think we have anything to worry about. We're coming, Thelma! Can't you do it a little more quietly? Wait, wait, wait a minute! Where to, Selma? The Cenozoic era, beginning of human life. I have some business to attend to. <laughs> this looks like the right place. We're going to eliminate Gadget's first ancestor. <laughs> Penny, I think I'll take a walk with my great-grandfather Gadget. You better follow them, Brain. Oh, no! Gadget himself! Dr. Claw, Gadget! Gadget is here! Eliminate him. Eliminate his ancestor. Huh? What is that? Go, go, crush Gadget! Wow, that's a dinosaur. Here I am, here I am. Oh, wow. Dinosaurs go. My bats are excellent for your help, but I am on duty.
That's impossible! That's a brontosaurus! There are no dinosaurs in this era. And those are mad agents. What's Dr. Claw up to? The gadgets are still alive! Crush them! Make sure you succeed this time, or I'll leave you here! Brain! There are mad agents here. They're trying to get Uncle Gadget and Great Grandfather Gadget. They brought dinosaurs along. <laughs> You've got to protect them. I'll find the mad time machine. Phew. Wowzers! This looks good. Someone has to taste it to make sure it's safe. This is delicious! Oh, wow, wow. Wowzers! Oh, gosh! Uh -oh. Wowzers! A hairy elephant! Here you go. See, this is what you do. <laughs> Here, have another. Just a bunch of hairy elephants. Let's get them. Wowzers! What happened? What's going on? You scared my friends away. Alive? You fools! What? Come on, move it! You're bigger than they are! Dinosaurs or or don't show your face in the twentieth century. Uncle Gadget, we're in trouble. Hi, Penny. This is my new friend. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Uncle Gadget, dinosaurs. And... Dinosaurs, wowzers! Quick, Uncle Gadget. Wooga wah! Oh no! How will we get back to the 20th century? We'd better call the Auto Club. What's wrong, Brain? Whoa! There's a dinosaur here! Wowzers! <laughs> here, boy. Nice doggy. Uncle Gadget, he might hurt you. Here, take this. Nonsense, Penny. It's a friendly dog. Whoa! This dog is too friendly. Hang on, Uncle Gadget. <laughs> Look at that! Good. Now's our chance. Hi. Let's all be friends. Oh, Uncle Gadget, be careful. Whoa! <laughs> Wowzers! Aha! 
cheek to cheek to go go gadget <laughs> on <laughs> uncle gadget keep your friend busy i may be able to fix the time machine no problem penny let's go for a little run <laughs> We'll never be able to go home. We don't even have the time machine. Okay, we all have to cooperate. <laughs> Brain, you protect Uncle Gadget and Great Grandfather Gadget. Right. Baby Mammoth, you help fix the time machine. Cave Penny, you go and pick some fruit. Now remember, they're all very important jobs. Right. <laughs> Now we have everything we need. Let's find Uncle Gadget. Wow, Roka, wow. Hi, Brain. Here we are. Hey, Penny. We've really become good friends. How nice, Uncle Gadget. It's time to go home now. I always wanted to do this. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Good luck, Kate Penny. some wonderful gifts. Okay, let's go. Go, go, time machine. Huh? Please take us back. Uncle Gadget? Okay, Penny. Go, go, machine hands. Congratulations, Gadget. You returned the dinosaurs to the Mesozoic era. I don't know how you do it. You know me, Chief. I always try to help an animal in need. I'll get you, Gadget. I'll follow you through time. I'll wipe out your ancestors. You'll never exist! Uncle Gadget, it's wonderful the way you get along with animals. Yes, Penny. Animals are our friends, and they need us to provide certain things. Our pets need us to provide fresh water and food. Wild animals usually find their own. But that big doggy needed to be shown where the food was. Right, Uncle Gadget. Sometimes carrying around a snack isn't a bad idea. What's that you're reading, Penny? I'm doing the research for my report on the history of computers. It says here that most of the gadgets the doctor put in your body have now been surpassed. Hmm. It's time for your bath, Penny. Yes, Uncle Gadget. I'll finish my report on the history of computers after my bath, Uncle. All right, Penny. Watch out for the phone booth, Uncle Gadget. Don't worry, Penny. I've gotten all the kinks out.
Chief, where are you? Over here, Captain. <laughs> Wowzers! Gadget! Go, go, gadget hand! Oh, there you are, Chief. How did you get in there, Chief? The gas company goes anywhere, Gadget. Now read your assignment. Ghosts appearing in the homes of Metro City's most distinguished families. Discover the cause of these ghosts and get rid of them. Suspect a mad Plot. Caution, this note will self-destruct. Don't worry, Chief. There's no such thing as ghosts. I'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, no! <laughs> oh. Uncle Gadget! There's no hot water! The ghost globules are working splendidly, Dr. Claw. <laughs> People will pay anything to get rid of my ghosts. <laughs> All I have to do is spray them with rancid cooking oil, and they disappear. <laughs> I'll teach you to toy with Dr. Spectrum. Stop! Stop, I say! <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's done. Good. Excellent work, Spectrum. I'm overwhelmed, Dr. Claw. I couldn't be more pleased unless Gadget disappeared forever. <laughs> Spirits that are bothering you. <laughs> Don't worry, Brain. It's just superstition. I'm on a case, Penny. Finish your report and then go to bed. Okay, Uncle Gadget. Follow him, Brain. Don't be silly, Brain. There's really no such thing as ghosts. that report, Brain, but call me if there's an emergency. Sure is. I love costume parties. Wow! That must be some of the ghosts the chief was talking about. Which way did those ghosts go? All the guests are upstairs in the ballroom, sir. Thank you very much, my good man. What a creative costume! Inspector Gadget at your service, madam. I'm here to investigate the ghosts. Don't say such thing! I'm afraid of ghosts! Nonsense, my good woman. There's no such thing as ghosts. Gadget, he'll ruin everything. <laughs> in the mansion. One lone police inspector should be no match for my specially trained agents. See that they take care of him. <laughs> Eliminate. 
eliminate Gadget before the ghosts arrive. It will make everything simpler. That's nothing. I'll poison his canapé. Please, boss, let me blow him up with my exploding champagne cork. I'll dance the tango of death with him. Not the tango of death. I can't watch. Enough! Do it all! Excuse me, sir. Uh, madam. Uh, have you seen any ghosts? Where was a boom? The tango? All right, Brain. I'll be right there. Would you care for a canapé, sir? Have you seen any ghosts around here? Oh, no, sir. They're not allowed in this neighborhood. I see. What are these red things? Caviar. Hey, you! Are there any more? Perhaps, Zurumaki, sir? Come on, little ballerina. Wait for your turn. What's that one? Beef tartar. What? It's raw beef. Raw beef? I can fix that. Whoa! Whoa! Don't even think it. Don't say a word. Pardon me, sir. Compliments of the hostess. What is it? Hmm. Let me guess. Whoa! No, no, sir. It's fine champagne. It might brew. <laughs> go, go, Gadget Brella! Hey, wait! Uh. Perhaps you'd like to have the cork, sir. This is a very special cork indeed. Thank you, Commander. Oh, it has a nice ticking. Sorry, but I cannot accept any gift. I'm on assignment, you know. Please, sir, just take a look. No, no, I really can't. Ah! Oh, no! I adore a man in a good costume. Huh. Hmm. They are playing my song. Will the inspector do me the honor of this one dance? With pleasure, senorita. But just one dance. I'm on assignment, you know. Don't worry, inspector. One last tango is all I'll need. <gasps> Rorango! I'm sorry, madam, but this lady asked me first.
Go, go, catch it. Go. Bounce. Go, go, catch it, brother. Go, go, catch it, hopper. I danced it him in. The tango of death triumphs again. I almost had him in my champagne cork. Your head is full of cork. Why, you? Enough! It's time to send in the ghosts. Get into your costumes. I wonder what the van is doing here. Do work, my lovelies. <laughs> so that's where the ghosts are coming from. Again, madam. Five hundred ghosts! Ghost catchers? Ghosts? How dreadful! Yes, I'll send my ghost catchers right away. But you know it will cost you a little fortune. <laughs> it's showtime! Make Dr. Claw proud! Yippee! Let's go! Dr. Claw. So this is a mad plot. I thought so. But how does he control the ghosts? They're controlled by the antenna on top of the van. Don't be alarmed. I have everything under control. <laughs> ah. Go, go, gadget handcuffs. <laughs> Wowzers. Slippery fella, aren't you? Dinner, dinner, dinner. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> We come to save the day. Stop! Sorry, guys, but it's my job to catch the ghosts. So much for the tango of death. I'll show you who's tough. That's not our ghost. Don't be a twit. There's no such thing as ghosts. 
Who are you calling a twit? <laughs> 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 for this job. Go, go, gadget, gas man. I'm ready. Let's catch some ghosts. Inspector Gadget is on duty. There's nothing to fear. Here, take my money. Take my jewels. Here's all my cash. Take anything you want from my wallet. No, no, I said no gifts. Brain! There aren't any ghosts, Brain. These are some sort of chemical. It's all a mad scheme. <laughs> Brain, tell Chief Quimby to get over here right away. I'll take care of the ghosts. Let's see. If it's a radio wave, I could scramble it with coordinates G7 and J5. No, no, get back. Ruin my plans again, Gadget. But next time, you won't get a ghost of a chance. You can come out now, the ghosts are gone. This is the actual ghost. Yeah! I don't know how you do it, Gadget. The ghosts are gone and you've captured the mad agents. There's no such thing as ghosts, Chief. But some people think there are. We'd better bring your bike home in the Gadget Mobile, Penny. It's too dark for you to ride at home. That's right, Uncle Gadget. It's dangerous riding a bike at night. It's hard for cars to see you. If you have to ride at night, you should always wear white. Wearing something white makes you more visible to motorists. It also helps to wear a reflective jacket and put reflective tape on your bike. 